Hey, good morning, YouTube. So today, what we're going to be looking at, or what I'm going to show you how to do, is a quick and easy way to format a drive that's been encrypted with BitLocker that you're otherwise unable to access any of the information. Unfortunately, when a drive gets encrypted with BitLocker, if you don't have the recovery key, um, there's virtually no way to recover the data on the drive. Um, it's encrypted with a, an extremely high level of encryption. Um, and the probability of being able to decrypt it without the recovery key is, is slim to none unless you're uh, an expert. So I have a 250 gig drive, I believe it is, uh, that's been encrypted with BitLocker. And so when I insert the drive with the USB to SATA adapter, this is what I get. I get these, uh, this particular drive has two partitions on it, uh, E drive and F drive. And this is the error message that you'll get that will come up when you try and access a drive and it'll ask you for a recovery key. So if you need to format the drive to be able to use it for other purposes, uh, a quick and easy way I found to get the drive kind of unlocked and formatted uh, is to use Windows. So you'll need another computer um, that you can use the, the drive in. So we're just gonna hit cancel here. And let me open up uh, Windows Explorer. So I have E drive and F drive and when you go to click on it, it'll tell you access denied and same one with that one. So we're just going to go to start menu, control panel, we're going to go to administrative tools, and then we're going to go to computer management, and we're going to go to disk management and let it populate. This will take a few minutes depending on the number of drives that you have. Um, this could take uh, you know up to four or five minutes to to populate. Uh, so disk one, this 300 gig drive here, this is the one I'm working with, uh, and we know it's the one that we're, we need to work with because it says right here BitLocker encrypted, BitLocker encrypted. Uh, this is a boot partition, and we're going to get rid of this too. So the way I do it uh, is I go in, I right click on it, and I go delete volume. So we're going to delete the volumes in all the volumes in this drive. Delete volume. Yes. Let's see. Delete volume. Yes. Yes. So now that we've deleted it and the drive is online, we're going to create a new simple volume. We click next. We can here we can partition it however we want. Um, I'm going to leave it to the full 300 gigs. But if you wanted to create multiple partitions, this is where you would do it, and then you put in your size allocation. Uh, I'm going to assign it to drive letter E. Uh, this will change depending on your system. You'll need to look into your uh, Windows Explorer to see what drives you have available uh, that you can use. So we're going to click Next. We're going to format it in NTFS, uh, which is the new file format. We wouldn't want to do it in FAT32 or XFAT. Uh, drive volume, I'm going to leave blank because I don't know what I'm going to do with this drive. I'm going to enable uh, perform a quick format. One thing to note, if you deselect this, it will do essentially a low level format. Um, and what that's going to do is, is it's going to rewrite all the bits on the drive instead of ju just the first few bits and then deleting all the data on the partitions or the, the partitions that used to be there. Uh, if you deselect this on a drive 250 gigs or larger, it could take over an hour to format it. Uh, if you do quick format, it'll be formatted in just a few minutes. So we'll click next, we'll click finish, and then down here it'll say formatting. And we'll let this complete, it should be done any second. Okay, it's completed formatting, it's a healthy primary partition, so we can use this as a boot drive if we wanted to. We can eject this out of this computer, install it into another computer, and begin installing Windows on it or whatever we wanted to do with it. So we're going to open up the drive. This is our new volume, E drive. We're going to go to properties. We have 297 megs available. 100 megs is used for uh, the drive configuration. So I'm going to take a folder and just put it on here. This is essentially a write test. And there we go. We open it up and all of our files are there. So, 
that's how I recover uh, drives that have been encrypted with BitLocker. Um, I know there's a, a bunch of different uh, ways to do it. Uh, and one thing uh, to note is I'm using Windows 7 64-bit, uh, but this should work with XP, uh, I believe Windows 8, Windows 7 32-bit, 64-bit, Home, Pro, uh, all, virtually all versions of Windows have an equivalent to this computer manager and more importantly, the disk manager because um, that's what you're going to need to get into to be able to create new partitions. Um, another thing to note, once you've removed all the partitions, you've uh, gotten rid of the BitLocker and formatted it, if you wanted to come back later and create additional partitions, all you have to do is right click and you go mark partition as active Okay, and this is where we would create a secondary uh, partition. We put our partition size in here, and then it will section out this drive however we want to do it. So, uh, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, post them below. Uh, if the, you want to see any other tutorials or uh, how-tos, uh, post that below as well, or recommendations for additional videos. If you found this video helpful, uh, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you next time.